tumbled. Pressure on him by Bonner Maher, and the referee says there was a push and it's going to be a free out. Great clearance, however. Ooh. Tommy Welch got the free. Didn't like the uh, challenge that was put in on him. Yeah, and um, just before that, Henry Sheffield again. I think Henry's going to be very disappointed. He, he's got three chances now. He's put a couple of ways, put one into Brendan Cummins, and uh, really, you know, he should have at least put a couple of those over the bar. So, not uh, all that terribly surprising. The change for Tipperary will see Brendan Maher, number 21, coming on in a moment, and the player he'll be replacing will be John O'Keefe in the half back line. The uh, least experienced member of that back line. That's going to be a free for a foul by Richie Power. From 45 metres out from the Tipperary goal. And after the bit of shouldering and horse play, it ends up being a free for tip any which Conor Avani is going to take. Now is he going to try and drop this one in? He is. Inside towards John O'Brien. O'Brien's got it. Held. Comes back out here as he released the ball to Jackie Tyrrell. Jackie looks around, didn't get the ball away. Challenged there by Bonner Maher, helped out by Paul Murphy. And Paul Murphy knocks it into the middle of the field. And Richie Power has it, he's no helmet. He has to have a helmet on him. I think he lost his helmet a little while ago in the last play. He lost it in the last tackle, and when he, when he got possession there with no helmet, the ref had no option but to stop the play. So the referee will throw the ball up. Michael... Dempsey there, in with the referee, he's uh, not alone selector, but he's also the physical trainer of this Kilkenny team. Former Leash player and manager. It's a great piece of fielding in there. Great catch by John O'Brien, but the Kilkenny full back line didn't panic, loads them around. So Brendan Maher comes on in the 29th minute. And it was a really tough ask for John O'Keefe. He had a good season, but ran into Henry Shefflin, bang in form in terms of the physical dominance of Henry Shefflin that we know all about. Not an easy opponent. Yeah. So Brendan Maher comes on, and Brendan Maher goes straight over onto Shefflin. <laughs> well, as you were mentioning earlier, Michael, Shefflin had possession, his two points, one of them from a free, one from play, and he's dropped a number of shots either into the goalkeeper's hands or wide of the target. But he is getting possession free to Tipperary, which Conor O'Mahony is preparing to take. That's the 65-metre line, 65 metres from the Tipperary end line. So on what is now a pleasant afternoon in Dublin. He floats it in here towards John O'Brien again, runs on this time, and good covering again by Brian Hogan. He's giving that full back line a lot of extra cover, but the pass out puts... Kilkenny in some difficulty, there's a foul on Bonner Maher, it's going to be a free in from the 20-metre line, and a chance once again to cut the deficit to two points. Yeah, Brian Hogan there had plenty of time to clear the ball, I thought, and he, he slapped a hand pass out, and that's what Bonner Maher does well, in fairness, that's two hard frees, he's won in nearly exactly the same position there, and Owen Kelly will tap this over the bar again, and I'd say, you know, Kilkenny won't believe the Tipperary only a couple of times down, because, they, you know, they really have dominated the game. Took Tipperary 60 minutes to get their opening score. Only three points so far on the board. And Owen Kelly set to try and put this one over. Should be a relatively easy task for him. Third point at three for Owen Kelly on a day when uh, Lark Corbett hasn't really got into the match at all so far. John uh, O'Brien is uh, functioning reasonably well, pro providing some difficulty for the full back line. Yeah, Norm McGrath had one possession, he put it over the bar. Larry Corbett has had no possession, I think, at all. He fumbled one ball that came his way. Uh, Bonner Maher has won a couple of frees. Park Maher playing well in the half back line, and, you know, Michael Cahill, really, they're the two that's really keeping him in the game. And Tipperary, of course, with just one point from play so far. That great point by Noel McGrath. Back at the other end is Owen Larkin. Michael Rice was running into difficulty. He spent most of this championship season on right half forward. Ball cleared out over the sideline, and it'll be a line ball to. Uh, Kilkenny and there's an injured Kilkenny player down there it's Michael Rice the Carrick Shock player 27 years of age now who was uh, second highest scorer for Kilkenny in the championship up to the semi-final with his goal and seven points and then Richie Hogan oh, came along and got two goals there against Waterford this was a player you were oh that was a really nasty head collision there it was, he threw up the ball as if he was going to hit it, then he hesitated and left himself wide open and Conor Amandi, the strong man, he ploughed into him there and took a heavy knock. Paul Murphy is a very 
tough competitor as well, taking the sideline ball in there towards Michael Rice. Quick recovery, taking on Paddy Stapleton, and the referee saw the foul, and it's got to be a free. We understand that Sean Fitzpatrick is also being prepared by Kilkenny, should he be required. Yeah, good recovery by Michael Rice and yeah, Chaff Fitzpatrick uh, supposed to be reportedly going very, very well in training in Kilkenny and just shows you how good they are, how strong they are in the middle of the field when a player like Chaff can make it onto the team. It's free to be taken by Henry Shefflin. Two points so far in the match. This to try and extend Kilkenny's lead and he's got it spot on. Beautifully taken. So now it's seven points to four, his team ahead. About uh, two minutes to go to the end of the opening 35, but then we can add on surely at least five minutes, you would imagine. Injury to the referee and other stoppages. Again, Brian Hogan coming to take it. Always looks a very commanding figure. Striding forward purposefully here. Oof, I don't think Michael Fennelly was expecting that. Ground conditions rather difficult for the players because of the rain we had earlier on. Really, uh, Brian Hogan should have kept going in a forward motion that time you would feel rather than passing it laterally yeah absolutely he's he's been very dominant he's winning a lot of possession but that's two balls in a row for maybe he's taken the wrong option you know he should have maybe delivered that into the full forward line tip the champions three points behind haven't really got going properly yet in this match that's hit in there by Brendan Maher collected here by Tommy Welch back over towards Maher again looking for Henry Shefflin Coming out for it here, Richie Hogan against Paddy Stapleton. Stapleton will need a new stick. Also might require attention. Will require attention. Lines one, Barry Kelly going in immediately just to check at his well-being. But it was interesting there when Tommy Welch got that ball, he almost instinctively tried to play it across diagonally towards Henry That's right, Joe, I was just going to say that um, you can you can see that the Kilkenny players instinctively they know that Henry Shefflin's on form, that he's winning a lot of possession, and that diagonal ball is the right ball to play anyway, but uh, you can see Tommy Tommy is having a massive game, Tommy Walter. He's winning an awful lot of possession, uh, three or four great high catches, and he's trying to pick out Henry Shefflin. When they were playing it forward earlier on towards Owen Larkin, I thought he was doing very well in the opening ten minutes of the match. Maybe the supply line in towards that area hasn't been as consistent since. Yeah, probably in the last 10 minutes there hasn't been much flow. There's been a lot of stoppages with, you know, I think uh, with Brian Gavin getting the, the belt of the nose, there's been a few other stoppages, substitutions, and there hasn't been that much hurling done in the last 10 minutes. Well, the attendance this afternoon, 81,314, just under the 82,000, the capacity. Here comes Henry Shefflin from the line ball once again, inside towards Richie Hogan, trying to steal a march of the defence, fending it inside, Finnelly! First ever championship goal! What a time to get it! 35 minutes into the contest! And it's won seven to four points! And it came from the line ball! And it's delighted the huge throng of Kilkenny fans who've come up here to see their team win back the Liam McCarthy Cup if they can. Played beautifully in, wonderful fluent move, fantastic shot by Fennelly. Yeah, Joe, that's a brilliant goal. Uh, Henry Shefflin looked up, picked out Richie Hogan with a great ball, and he just had just one quick look and threw to Michael Fenley. And we've talked about Michael Fenley from the start of the game. He covered 70 yards into that position and a brilliant goal, brilliant finish. We're into five minutes of added time, the end of the first half. And now it's up to Owen Kelly to provide the leadership and Garrod Ryan to provide the direction and the shot and to put it over the bar, his first point of the match. To try and eat into the lead, there are five between them. One seven to five points. Tip have a lot to do. Yeah, Jerry, look, if you just this is Garrett Ryan's point again, but we might get a chance to look at the goal again. Henry Shefton, great ball into Richie Hogan's hand, and just he just had that instinct that he knew Michael Fenley was coming through the gap, but just a one yard popped hand pass, and Fenley made no mistake. And I think on the balance of play, Kilkenny deserved that goal, really deserved to be more than a pint or two up coming into half time. This time last year, it was uh, Tipperary who were getting the goals. First one today comes to Kilkenny. Paul Murphy again shoring things up at the back. Beautiful ball out to Henry Shefflin. Played low. Now he's able to take off. The man has come back from two cruciate knee injuries. Admired by everybody. Inside once again to the midfielder. And that's over the bar. Michael Rice gets his first score. Wonderful point by Michael Rice. Good example of fine long range shooting by a very, very composed and talented player. Yeah, Henry Shefflin again, you know, maybe in the old days he would have went on with that ball, but using his brain now as much as um, he, 
using his brain more instead of his legs, looked up and saw Michael Rice. And great point by Rice. So deep into stoppage time in the second minute now. Kilkenny continued to plough forward here. And finally, Lark Orbert gets on the ball. And I can't remember him touching the ball prior to this, I must say. He's yeah, such a dangerous forward, as we all know. Touched the ball seven times in last year's All-Ireland final. Got three goals. That's right. I think Colin Fenley took a fair belt in the head there when he blocked down. He came in to block down Lark Orbert. And yeah, you can the see him result. there. Yeah, you can watch, if you watch the replay, he came in to block down and he, and he got a purely accidental follow-through and into the forward. Well, he's got to need attention, and there is a replacement immediately who's come on. It's TJ Reid. He's come on as a blood sub, I'm sure. Might see him later on. Last year's captain. Very disappointed not to start today, of course. Michael Cahill taking the line ball. Taken down by Lark Corbett, but onto it quickly was Jackie Tyrrell. And Jackie will be very, very happy with the way this first half has gone on. Lar has got very, very little. Yeah, and I think Tip will be looking for the uh, sanctuary the dressing room. You know, they're six points down and they won't want to go any further down between now and half time. Just get the feeling that the, the weight of favouritism coming in as champions, they were very uncomfortable with that. Yeah. And no team to exploit that better than the Kilkenny Cats. Well, they're very focused and uh, first touch is very good and they're all playing well. Every Kilkenny player is playing well. But now it's Tipperary's turn to try and get that ball out of defence. Michael Cahill. Helped out there by Garrow and Ryan. Huge one down. Challenger in. It's Bonner Marr. Oh, they could have done with a goal there. But again, it's Tommy Welch who comes in and takes it away from the falling body of Patrick Bonner Marr. The referee has blown his whistle. And it's got to be a free in. There obviously was contact. Well, Owen Kelly ran straight to the ref. And I, you know, I don't like to see too much of that, really. He's running, trying to get a player booked. He's saying it's, you know, he, he tripped him, but... Well, it's well outside the large rectangle anyway, that's for certain, way outside. So the referee giving it as a free in. Might get a chance to see that after we uh, see what happens next. Yeah, well, I actually thought Bonnermar didn't face the ball at all. He kind of jumped into Tommy Walsh and uh, looking not to give away a free out. And uh, then when it broke, Bonner broke onto it and he was, there was certainly contact, uh, whether he was tripped deliberately or not, I'm not sure, until we see the replay. So David Herity is taking no chances anyway. Wants uh, one, two, three, four, five other players back on the line here to help him out. One of them, the goal scorer there, second from right, number eight, Michael Fennelly. So four minutes, nearly five minutes after that goal. This is put over the bar by Owen Kelly. There were too many players on the line to go for a goal that time. Four points from freeze for Owen Kelly in the first half. And it's one eight to six points. Just have a look. Look at Bonner Martin. I think he didn't wasn't really facing the ball. He kind of jumped into Tommy Walsh. And Noel Hickey, absolutely, yeah. Foot trip and very, very lucky. Not at least the yellow. Well, it's only a yellow card, but he didn't. I don't think he got a yellow card there. I didn't see it. David Herity pocking it out into the middle, taken here by Michael Rice, slipping the hand pass back as far as Brian Hogan, needing a moment or two. Back out to Tommy Welsh again. Five minutes now has been played by the referee. It's at his discretion as to how much more he's going to add on. Henry Shefflin ready to take off again, surrounded by Tipperary players, advancing here with some help. And the referee eventually deciding that uh, Richie Parr, with a new change curly, has taken too many steps and it's got to be a free out. Paul Curry wants the ball back quickly. Temper is rising once more. This time it's the uh, blood sub who's getting involved there. TJ Reid will need to remain nice and calm. They may need him again later on. Yeah, Tommy Walsh again with the crossfield ball to Henry Shefflin, who made a great catch, um, got caught in possession, and then Richie Tower again, you know, maybe quite harshly pulled for overcarrying. Conor O'Mahony dropping it again in there towards the large rectangle. Again, it's Tommy Welch who has it. And fitting that he should have the sliver in his hands. He's played superbly in the first half. Kilkenny have played really, really well. They've come out, they've taken the fight to Tipperary right from the word go. It's been an eventful opening half. There was one goal and it came in the 35th minute. A wonderful sweeping move by Kilkenny, which involved several players and rounded off brilliantly by Michael Fennelly, the Ballyhale Shamrocks player. So on a day when Kilkenny came in as the challengers, they go in at half time with a lead and it's all to do for the All-Ireland champions from last year, Tipperary. At the break, it's Kilkenny 1-8.